Okay, I like to ask some of these questions. How do you know if your tree is healthy? Typically, you'll probably recognize um, the health of it uh, through the color of the foliage or its needles. That's, that's common, that's fine, that's valid. Maybe how thick or thin the tree appears, that's, that's totally fine. Um, in some cases, you might see maybe um, or recognize a pattern, something's not right, something's happening. In this case, this is a fir and it, it's starting to have a top-down dieback pattern. If this makes a progression downward, then you'll know at some point that it's likely struggling from, in this case, a beetle or an insect. And uh, what you're looking at, I'm going to zoom in, are the foothills, Rocky Mountain, there you go, the foothills. So I'm not too far away from there. And because I'm not too far away from the mountains right now, um, I know that beetle is in this area, and particularly conifer beetle. And um, I'm just going to use that term as a general term to cover my bases on all sorts of beetles. Now, what I want to say then, if you're going to ask the question, how do I know if my beetle is infested or not? Well, sometimes I just say, get up close to it. It seems like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised how many people never get up close to a tree. And so what I want to show you is, sorry, it's going to be a little whitewashed with the sun. Uh, it's pretty bright over here is this fresh frass sawdust and then we see the fresh um, pitch where the tree is pushing insect out of itself okay and so we're seeing evidence of that and then if I follow around the base of the tree I see a consistent pattern okay so you see all the sawdust that's been pushed out and you see the pitch the fresh colored pitch old pitch will tend to get crusty and dry and it'll become yellow and even and if you touched it like that one that's just so crusty and dry it wouldn't be sticky to my finger but if I touched that stuff down down there it'd be really really sticky okay so I know this seems like a no-brainer to say you know how do I know or how does one know if their tree is infested um, but the no-brainer answer is just get up close to it Start looking and you'll find something and on this same property um, the homeowner discovered a beetle inside of one of her dead spruce and how did she discover that she saw the actual larva and then we can also see uh, larval galleries and sawdust okay so we can see right here if I turn that you can see the sawdust and then you see the larval galleries okay and so then this tree i think we uh, located there and then i'm seeing some very small early symptoms of uh say beetle kill over here so i can say it's presumed infested at this moment and i would suggest anybody that owns pine trees and so on to start protecting their trees considering systemic trunk injections would be a great idea